Is that a poop rat? Is, is, is that a poop rat? Yeah, you probably don't uh, know what we're talking about, Mikey, but uh, John Tron did a review of a uh, of, of food fight, you know, the nostalgia critic that where I pretty much like tortured this uh, arm of the couch with a few hits. And, sorry about that, by the way. It's just it's just business. <clears throat> anyway, uh, he did one, and there was a character we didn't see in Doug Walker's version who was pretty much a weasel that represented like a chocolate thing. And honestly, it looked like a, just a rat covered in shit. Mm. And John, like, flipped out when he saw it. He was like, Jesus fucking Christ! Is that a poop rat? Is that a poop rat? Apparently. Is that, is that a poop rat? But, um, yeah. So, hello, everyone. We're uh, back here once again, and uh, we are uh, <laughs> we're doing another John Tron video. People uh, seem to really want us to do some of the older John Tron videos, uh, specifically... Disney bootlegs and uh, like some other some other I think bootleg video, eh, I guess we'll see. But uh, yeah, we are here and we are going to be watching uh, uh, the Disney bootlegs one here. Uh, I'm guessing there's going to be a uh, Aladdin ripoff and maybe a few uh, a few other select. Yeah. Okay, what's a game you think is going to be bootlegged in this video? Game or what or what what movie? For like Disney uh, yeah. Disney stuff. I mean, I feel like the the original Snow White, right? You think? I mean, like some seven dwarves in there being all weird. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. What about you? You think? What game do you think? What movie do you think they're going to bootleg here? Um, possibly like Lady and the Tramp or The Lion King. Hmm. Well, Lady and the Tramp seems like it seems like they're more likely to try this on movies that would fly under people's radar a little bit more, as opposed to like obviously like let's rip off the fucking Lion King, which everyone and their and their brother has seen before, you know. Well, you mean like Kimba the White Lion? Yeah, something like that. Which actually is what the Lion King is based off of. Yeah. We know your tricks, Disney. <laughs> we know your tricks. All right. Well. uh... Figured uh, we'd just hop right into this one. Let's see what old uh, see what old John Jafari has to say about these Disney bootlegs. All right, here we go. Normalboots.com. Ah, uh, Jack. Jumptron. <laughs> Run. Run away. Yikes. <laughs> Kill me. Oh, so this is games. Okay. So do you think you could run that whole thing by me one more time about where the light goes or whatever it is? Everything the light touches is our kingdom. Say it again, say it to my fucking face. Help me! Wow, bootleg Mufasa, you sure do suck, and I wish I never invited you over. I don't like it! Okay, look, just as a heads up, I think something's wrong with your friend bootleg Zazu over there. You might want to check it out. Oh, God! I forgot how weird these were. Hey, it's bootleg Jacques! What do you got for us today, buddy? <laughs> Tally ho! I've come bearing news from the higher ups. Please advise. Oh, thanks. You will never know my suffering. Forever trapped inside this robotic husk. All right, that's great, Jack. I'll see you later. What do we have here? Oh, look at that. A cease and desist from Disney. Yeah, that's probably about right. All right, you two, get the hell out of my house. It's over. <laughs> well, unfortunately, Disney's lawyers could get to me a little too easy. But I'll tell you what is much farther away from U.S. jurisdiction and far better at Disney bootlegging. China. <laughs> <laughs> Bear of the that segue was perfect. Baby's toy and also high-class weapon. Starts his uh, very well-known catchphrase: "Please play under the adult inspect to protect." I don't pretend. Everyone knows that one. There is not a chance I'm interested in this bear! Yes, even a company like Disney, who is well known to be so very protective of its brands, wasn't exempt from the video game bootlegging phenomena, much to their dismay. 
These games, as usual, take all forms and are generally cobbled together, producing hilarious results much of the time. So let's have ourselves a mad, 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 day. First John. off, let's have a look at some bootlegs based on the Lion King films, starting with, quite simply, a game called The Lion King. Hmm, copyright the Walt Disney Company. Well, at least they were nice enough to attribute it to the right people. Uh, that music, I don't think that's the Lion King. Mowgli begins his journey it's through the, the Lion book. to find the man village. Mowgli, huh? The true, true to whole line, huh? Also, Mowgli's head is down here. Why is this just the Jungle Book? This is just the Jungle Book game for NES with minor things changed. Like, instead of Mowgli, it's a bipedal lion that doesn't look like anything from The Lion King. You're still ripping off Disney with the Jungle Book. Why didn't you just rip off a Lion King game? This is some ass-backwards logic. That's pretty weird. <laughs> oh, stop that! John's like, I'm in hell right now. Well, if you can't beat him... Join. <laughs> John, stop it! <laughs> okay, next up we have another one. The Lion King 5. Don't know where 3 and 4 went. I'm sure they'll give some sort of synopsis for those of us who missed out. Timon is really having a good time here, okay? You can tell Whee! by that match player. In this game, you can select from three characters. Timon, Simba, and Pumbaa. Simba and Pumbaa look correct, but Timon has no ears and is and a Timon bow tie. tie. Like, what? You got the reference right on the other two. What's wrong with Timon? Oh, dear God, it's Walking Fingers. I mean, have you guys seen the movie? Uh, you couldn't have just put something here that wasn't Walking Fingers. A lizard. You know, a, a wildebeest. Not Walking Fingers is the main point I'm trying to make. This game is basically a reproduction of the one for Super Nintendo, but it controls much worse and it's super glitchy. Sometimes you can get farther by manipulating the edge screen and scroll. It's pretty wacky. It's so cut hard to control. God damn it, no! Ah, out of lives. Oh, that's dark. Oh Wait, is that actually in there? Oh my God. I think it is. What the fuck? What Are the you kidding fuck, me? indeed, China? Simba fucking hangs himself when you get a game over. He just steps into a noose. He didn't even kick over a chair. The earth beneath him just gives way. Yes, as you see it, this game is apparently <gasps> infamous for its ridiculous game over sequences, which also. What the fuck, China? Wow. What the fuck? <laughs> what? Why? Include Timon crying while digging his own grave and Pumba jumping into a pot of scalding water. Some of these folks, this is real. I can't understand. The rest of the game is pretty standard. It's not meant to be shocking or anything. Maybe they just thought that made sense? <laughs> what can I say? Circle of life? Circle of death, huh? Because you know it's <laughs> circular. I can't live in this world anymore! I saw Timon bury himself while crying. I saw the Puma cook himself. It's over for me. Damn, John. <laughs> I got the Lion King 2 on Genesis. Here. Wow. I say no to that face. Damn. Yeah, very close to just calling it the Lion King and having it be about the Lion King. Very close. We're almost there. Now, most bootleg games of this nature are made with recycled sprites and assets, but this one here is unique in that it was made from the ground up as its own game. You never know what you're gonna get with this. From the day we arrived on this planet, I was scared that was the same. Yeah, that's... Seriously! Maybe they could have taken some of the face they gave to Mufasa and funneled it into little Simba over here. It looks like he got his head door slammed by Uma Thurman and killed Bill. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. The Lion King is looking markedly more, uh, how you say, Chinese this time around. What was that pussy shit? Get the fuck out of here! All right, whatever. I said a little better, I guess. I'm not going to scold you twice in a row. Whatever. The Lion King 2. We're in China now. Deal with it. <laughs> Zone 1. Gwil in? What the hell is Gwil in? Well, I guess this is Gwil in. Good old Mufasa over here seems to get the joke, huh? Once again, given that this game was made from the ground up, I don't understand why every single enemy has nothing to do with the Lion King. This one kind of works on Mario rules. If you grab the big ball of gas. You turn into older Simba, and if you get hit, you turn into smaller Simba. Ah, crap. I died. 
Wait, Wait what? what? Why? Why, Why again with the brutality? He's just hanging here again from a rope, this time not around his neck. Grant is <laughs> clinging in dear life while ominous music plays. I mean, do, do the Chinese just resent Simba or something? You they can tell him. this game is supposed to play like the SNES version of Lion King, which the sprite of Simba is directly ripped from, but you yeah. can't quite pull it off. Jumps are hard, everything is floaty, and it's overall just pretty tedious. Ah, yes! Chin's tomb! How could I forget? The terracotta soldiers really tied it all together. And Scar was there. Yeah, around here they start getting too cute with their level design. It's like making a linear platformer wasn't enough for them. They had to show off their programming skills too. Like in this level, you come to a dead-end door that makes a weird noise when you show up to it. Come on, what is this, a glitch? What a joy. <laughs> <laughs> so after like 30 literal minutes of me running around wanting to blow my brains out, I finally figured out what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to kill all the enemies in the section you're in, and only then will the door open up for you. But good luck, baby, because that's only door number one. Out of like 200. Ah! Ah, no! Go! Stop it! Not to mention, you end up going back and forth between the same doors on accident because it all looks the same. Also, why is this game set in Imperial China? The longer I play, the angrier I get about it. How the lions walk from <laughs> Africa to there, it's pretty far. I honestly don't know why I'm still torturing myself by playing this. I've been here for over six hours and I've got nothing to show for it. Jesus, John. Yeah, all right. What a not play that Oh! Leading up to this moment. Where the hell did that I come from? You can't make this shit up alarm! <laughs> <Get over there. laughs> Top a swastika laden blimp comes from. Well, it's very simple, okay? Hitler was a big fan of the Disney Renaissance. <laughs> wow. There it is. Well, anyways. After that life changer, you just walk That's actually a really old right symbol, the like the Nazis dangerous. didn't make it up. Hey, don't you see? The final boss was confronting what? the Nazi inside that's, of all of us. It's a spiral yeah, galaxy, like, like that's in a lot of Buddhist okay, art. Yeah, the Nazis yeah, didn't make it up. On for Genesis. I remember that, uh, it was... So we don't know it's a Nazi reference. Exactly. Hey, calm down, Mushu, would you? Maybe tread a little more lightly, some people are trying to sleep around here. Wanna be a man. Be a man. I don't know. I've considered it. I don't know if I'm ready to make the decision, though. But thanks for the offer. If you haven't seen the movie, this is a horribly mistranslated reference to the song Be a Man from Mulan. But hey, at least they're trying to give us the option, huh? All right, the game starts. And of course, they don't use the song that this level is based on. Why would they? Mulan, what the fuck? You know those people. They're your friends. Yeah, in, in the movies, she's friends with these characters, but I guess in the world of pirated games, it's just a free-for-all. Oi, what is this? A Freddy Krueger glory hole? Oh, the God. The most I can say for this game is that at least it attempts to be somewhat familiar with the subject matter. The characters look pretty convincingly like they could be from an actual Disney licensed game, so, all right. Greatest Wall. The Huns. It's completely subjective. <clears throat> Snow Planet. Huh? Yeah, as you know, Mulan has always been the best sci-fi. And he's dead. All right, nice job, guys. Except for on those hearts, they're terribly, terribly asymmetrical, and you should be ashamed. Hey there, John. Who are you? I'm the Great Bootleg. That's hokey. And old Jontron was better. Wanna see something really all bad? No. No. That is horrifying. <laughs> dying, 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 death, death. Help, help, barf, 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 barf. Oh, barf. No God. One can stop the pain. Please, can you stop the pain? Oh, ew. Gross, man. What the heck? Not your hands. Dude, stop. John, no. <laughs> and then magically, John got the box of that disc. <laughs> Oh, white. Yes. Called it. Wow, Micah! Wow! Keep saying. in mind, everybody. I did also call the Lion King. Yeah, you did. Well, Lion King's an easy one. Yeah. I When you said Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, I'm just like, she, oh, he thinks it's a movie. She's the OG, and I did think it was a movie. 
Well, yeah, but guess what? It's also a it's game. A like PS2 I'm like. saying. Holy crap, dude! She'll probably cut you. It's like with razor blades hidden in an apple. Dude, do you have like ESPN or something? No. Is this whole game oh. just going to be Snow White actually chucking apples at people? <laughs> probably. If it is, I will buy it. Chucking Not apples really. at the dwarves. After she puts razor blades in them. God, Jesus, dude. You and the razor blades and the apples. I'm just saying. Well, it's a scary thought, I know. Everybody always warned me about that when I was a kid. I never once got a razor blade apple. Like, like all adults do also, is lie to you. And also, who gives out apples during Halloween? Yeah, I never got any free drugs during Halloween. I'm kind of disappointed about it. Well, okay, okay. <laughs> I never got drugs, but... From what I understand, but one kid actually lied at school and said he got a laxative in his, and I'm like, like a cocoa lax thing, you know, like a little cocoa pellet thing, and he said it, and like, they said it was like X lax. I'm like, okay, what, what, uh, I don't, what, what? I didn't know. I didn't ask. I didn't want to ask anymore. I'm confused. Maybe his parents are just horrible people and wanted him to. Turn him against Halloween. Halloween We're candy. tired of dragging this brat around. Let's put laxatives in his candy. Yeah. Jesus. Well, I get behind that. Here we go. Back at it. Okay, every now and then, you see something you just can't believe is real. This is one of those moments. How could anyone have let this happen? Seven clever boys. <laughs> Are these the boys? They don't look so clever. Uh, come to think of it, neither does anyone in this picture. They look like they were the result of a brother and sister who liked each other maybe just a little too much. Ew, an God. licensed game for the PS2. Shit, I would have preferred Lion King 2 over this nonsense. Oh, this is real, all right. What? Uh, right here. Anyone else see that? Uh, let's pretend we didn't. <laughs> That's unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell, China? What the hell is wrong with you? Communism. Look Never even once. That menu screen. Okay, we got a confused starfish, an artistic crab, a very stupid alligator, and this thing. Also, we got the main cast here in the middle feeling very stranded and very helpless to amend the situation they're in. Snow White and the Seven Clever Boys. Snow White and the Seven Clever Boys! What is that fucking name? Who made this? I'm not gonna get over that. I, I absolutely guarantee you I'm never gonna get over that name. I'm a clever boy. Put me in, huh? Put me in that. Get me in that. But I digress. This game starts off with like a film. Not quite so long ago and not so far away... Near the seventh menu, town menu, across the seventh menu, river, menu, there is a beautiful menu, forest, kept perfectly in order by seven clever and thoughtful young boys. And here they are. And here they are. Let's get right to it. Come on. First, there was Cubby, who was like a small bear. A small bear? In what sense is this child like a small bear? He's not even wearing a bear on a t-shirt or anything. And then there was Big Basil, who was huge. Well, for a boy, he was huge. Ah, it's too late, narrator. You only caught kid fat. It's not going back. And then Sonny, who took care of the plants and the animals. What? And was also a very racist depiction of a black person. This game was approved by Sony with that in it? Nice call, guys. Really good one. Also, maybe, you know, next time don't take too much fashion advice from Uncle Sam and the Harlem Globetrotters. Oh, sick lyrics, dude. Sick song. Randy yeah. Newman lyrics, everybody. Yeah, you're right now. The real game, if you could call it that, is just absolute nothingness. It's literally just mini games of sliding puzzles, jigsaw puzzles, and coloring books. I don't know what convinced someone that this is the thing that they should make for the world to see. But you out there who made this, I got one thing to say to you. All right? Follow your dreams. But not this hard. Don't, don't follow them so hard that this happens. But follow your dreams. Well done. Back to menu. Next. Well, I think we covered it all. I think that's everything. Let it go. Let it go. Don't hold oh, it back. Shit. Let it go. Another letter? Huh. I feel unexplained joys and sorrows, but alas, I am synthetic. All right, Chuck, come on. I'm doing something here. 
Dress up who? Oh, I gotcha. This was a mistake! Well, actually, <laughs> Dress Up Who is a website, I guess, with dress up games and girl games. We got Poo Kitchen Slacking, it's girl games. We got Clean Up Horse Farm 2, no boys. Allowed. Oh no, I think I know so what's on this. Clean Up Horse possibly. Farm 1 sometimes, sounds, sounds pretty good. Easily, the most fascinating nope. thing about this website is its section on Frozen games, which there are so many of, but nothing. Nothing comes close to the majesty of the crowning jewel of this website. The one, the only, the Elsa, skin? frozen brain surgery. Oh. Frozen brain surgery. What? I cannot even fathom this. At this moment, I'm truly dumbfounded. It's elegant. It's wonderful. It's got a low chance of survival. Oh my God, right there? Right in the right in the brain. Okay. Ninety nine, Elsa. It's magical. Well, I, Elsa, I think I I, I see the problem. What, what, the what, what, you might, what you might be having some problems. Just gonna just gonna I'm remove these off you, Elsa. Just right don't now. worry. Okay, the rock. We're getting Why are there glasses in her head? head? That's what I'm wondering. Like nothing ever happened. This game was barely girly enough for me. I'm gonna need to see a more great girl games, please. You know. This oh. is wow. right up. There she is. What's wow. the size of that baby? How big is that baby? Yeah, that's about that's the size of a baby, everyone. Yeah, that baby's got a heart too. Unlike the creator of this shit. How many of these are there? Is this a thing? Is this just like an unknown genre? Yeah, I, I see it. the dentist one. Yeah, I saw it too. <laughs> what? <laughs> Fuck. No. You are the most adorable baby in the world. I'm strangely intrigued. Say that. Oh my god, you're just gonna walk yeah. away! Somebody's baby who was zombie! You're just gonna leave you and dawdle away? Your beautiful baby has a yeah. fucking yeah. hand coming out of his head, now you're just gonna look mildly disappointed she, when she just walks away? Is, is there a procedure for zombification of baby? Just put a little ointment on it? Yeah, get some of that. Just drop that in the petri dish. Get that horn. Yeah, take the hand off. See, that was really bugging me. Oh! He's fixed! What the hell is this? So don't give me that cheeky look. All right, you got yourself into this mess. I'm the one helping you get out of it. What? You're not doing me any favors here. Elsa baby birth. Elsa milking cow. Pregnant Elsa foot check. Oh my god! What the fuck is <gasps> that? Absolutely horrific. Elsa, what you been doing out there? Why this? My pregnant foot doctor. How do these concepts sync up? At least there's a nice snowman in the background. Oh, what the f There fuck? it is! What the fuck? Oh, God. Oh, gee. Oh, Lord in heaven. Why? I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna actually throw up. I'm not even... <coughs> <coughs> oh, my God. I'm actually gonna barf. I'm not fucking around. <coughs> oh, my God. No! Like Frozen Four, but that was a solid ten out of ten for me. Gonna go watch that movie again. Give it, give it, a, give it a two thumbs up. I'm scarred for life. That's, that's not a joke. This is not a part of that program. This is for real. I'm. I'm... I can still see it. Get out of my brain. John. John. Well, what a ride! Thanks for watching. This episode of JonTron was sponsored by the wonderful people at Loot Crate. They are a monthly subscription box service that specializes in pop culture and gamer gear. Wow. They guarantee over $40 worth in value in each box. You get about four to eight mystery items in there. Summer limited edition, and you get at least one t-shirt with every box. They got a theme every month. This one is power. Power. All right, let's see what's in here. All right, it's a pretty cool labyrinth shirt. I'll actually wear that. Harry Potter socks. Harry Potter doesn't suck. Don't keep that. Mel Gibson. Oh, wait, that's Nathan Drake. Mel yeah. Gibson. I think this is my personal favorite one by <clears> far. It's like, um, it's that old timey drink the beer thing, you know? Or just like a sacrificial, you know, ow. Ow, for real. Quest adventure awaits! You enter the forest at the darkest point where there is no path. See, honestly, just a bad idea. 
I think this is a 20-sided die holder. But the 20-sided die on the inside, not the outside. That's a shame, because then you could just roll this as a 20-sided die. Who needs it? And also, if you're so inclined, there is the loot anime box. What do we got in here? Hot chili salad flavored prints! That sounds horrible. You can't say no to that. Tokyo Ghoul! I will, though. Now that's ghoulishly cool. Hey! Oh, that's badass. Who is this? So if you like that, you think you want it, you can use my special link, lootcrate.com slash jontron, or if you want the anime one, lootcrate.com slash jontron anime. Three dollars off on each. Get it. Before I get you. A great birthday John. present. <laughs> also. Wow. That, that frozen one almost, like, made me question my sanity. That was really dang weird. Uh, it. I can't believe that that's actually real. You know? Someone sat down at a table somewhere. I was like, hey. Oh, there's a really I weird... I have a shit ton of ideas. There's a really and weird dude out there. somebody else was like, yeah, man, go for it. With like a weird Elsa fetish, and they're just like... I, I feel like most of those were probably taken from some kind of weird fucking fetish website and then just turned into a video game. Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh-huh. The foot Ooh. one and the throat and the mouth one. What the f- Indeed. What the hell? Someone suggested we watch this? Yes. Why'd you do that? <laughs> because they want to watch us <laughs> suffer, Nick. That's why. And you know what? They succeeded. The suffering that I feel right now Mother hurts. <laughs> I It hurts right now to think about the, uh, I can't get it out of my head. Jesus Christ. I think we need like a, uh, a small fuzzy kitten video or something for a minute. <laughs> like a palate cleanser. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. I got, I got it. I know one to watch. Uh... There it is. This is this is what we need. This is what I need in my life right now. Yeah, yeah. The, the, little 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 babies, little, little itty bitty babies. Oh, you're all in the way. Oh, she's trying to make the bed. <laughs> yep. Yes, she is. <laughs> There's so many of them. It's like my mom's house. No. Wow. Holy crap. <laughs> it's impressive to actually be able to make the bed with all of them still on top of it. Papa! <laughs> Jesus. Okay, yeah, that's actually much better now. Yes. I remember watching that a long time ago. Uh, also, also, there's there's one... Corgi Kibble Dance is one that I like to watch when we need cheering up. Yeah, right here, this one. <laughs> I already see a bat in the water in the thumbnail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one of my mom's cats actually did that one time. Although it was bubbles instead of water. Yeah. Sphinx cats actually don't mind water as much. It's like, I can't push it off the side. I guess since they don't get soggy filling with their fur. Yeah. Only thing you need to make sure of is that they don't put their head down, their nose in the water. That can be bad. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> God. So, alright. That was... That was a little bit of a palate cleanser. I'm okay with that. That that makes me feel better about myself. Jesus. That was, a weird, that was a weird freaking video. Leave it to John Tron. Oh, God. John Tron watches some weird shit. You ain't kidding. Like, I thought that boot thing was weird, but then it was or, like, nope, that was tame compared to uh, those actual games. Mm-hmm. I am the boot. And then all of a sudden, 
Snow White and the Seven Clever Boys. That was weird. With the mild racism. Mm, I think it was slightly spicier than mild. It was like zesty racism. <laughs> is there such a thing? Actually, no, I take that back. There is such a thing as that. Now that I think about it, it's just like... <laughs> it was a lot funnier when I said it than it was in my mind brain. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have said that. Rich, zesty racism. <laughs> Oh, this video is going to get flagged for being inappropriate. Oh, uh, probably. It's like, hey, kids, today we're going to talk about racism. It's bad. Don't do it. Goodbye. That's and that's the video. Ba 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 da ba da da. God. But yeah, um, I played some weird games in my life. I remember a long time ago. There was actually a point-and-click adventure game. It was it had to do with Sleeping Beauty. And uh, there was one part where you actually played as the prince, but then you also got to play... After waking Sleeping Beauty up, you actually got to go and fight the... Uh, the... Um, pr- or the, uh, the witch who put the uh, curse on you. And uh, you got to go fight her as Sleeping Beauty. And... Uh, all you had to do was wait for her to like cast her magic attack and then put up the shield and then take steps forward and then wait to cast magic attack boom step forward and then you got to the end and instead of killing the instead of killing the witch instead you actually make friends with the witch and the witch actually like fixes everything and I'm like oh okay and it was one that my little cousin Hannah played through and I remember like playing through it and I'm like God, this is boring. I'm going to go back over and play Zone of the Enders again. Because that's what I did. I actually brought Zone of the Enders and my PS2 up to my cousin Zach's house. <clears throat> and we played through Zone of the Enders. And me and him, we actually had to work through how to get through certain parts. Because I was just like, what do I do? What do I do? And then I figured it out. And I'm like, oh, that's what I do. All right, cool. So... Anyone? Download the program and move to the next area. Yeah. What about <laughs> you, Mike? Have you ever played like a really weird game that you were just like, what? Mm, now that I can remember, there were games that I didn't understand what I was doing, so I had to revisit them later. Um, oh. There you go. But, no, for the most part. I don't yeah, know. I think mine like that is the original Strider. Because... Oh. As a kid, like when I first played it, like I got my NES from my cousin when I was probably like three and a half years old, and <clears throat> so when I first played it, I couldn't read the text or anything, mm-hmm. and I could never figure out what to do with it. But when I went back to it later, I figured out that like when you go in the first level, you only go like very shortly into the first level before you hit a locked gate, and then you have to go back to the start of the level and hit up, and you go back to the ship, and then you go to the second area, and once you found the file. And once I could read all the text, I realized it was all in, like, the all your base or belong to us type dialogue. And stuff. Oh. <laughs> and realized how fucking weird the game <clears throat> the was. The English. The but English subtitle. For some reason, I still played all the way through it and actually came away enjoying it. And uh, then they made the remake of it, like, a few years back. And it's one of my favorite things that's ever been remade because it's so fucking badass now, <laughs> like, in the new version of it. You know, you know a video game I want them to remake with modern graphics? Einhander. Yeah. I want I, them to remake Einhander. Einhander's still badass the way it was. Well, I know that, but could you imagine it with, like, modern-day graphics yeah, and, like, sick. little upgrades to the bosses and all that? Yeah. Holy mackerel, dude. Because I mean, nobody <laughs> knows about it. Like, I guarantee you most of the people in the comments are going to be like, what the fuck's Einhander, you know? But, like, you're the first person I've really talked to that knew what it was. Oh, dude. I, I remember... Have you ever heard of Iron Hunter, Marcus? I've heard I've heard that name. I don't know what it's about. Um, it's uh, two D or it's a two point five D side scrolling shooter where you fly the ship that has a little arm on it, and hence the German name Iron Hunter. One arm, one hander, and like so you can switch the arm up and down, and you blow like guns off of other stuff, and the arm will grab them and like equip them to your ship. And so you can switch the layout of guns that you have on. That your ship sounds that familiar, but I can't. It was on a for it. me. It was on a Pizza Hut demo disc. That's actually where I originally played it. It's a PlayStation 1 game. Yeah. 
And I and actually I remember getting the game and me and my friend Andrew we stayed up all night playing it. And for some reason, every time you get to a boss, they scream something at you in German, and like it's got really badass music. Sounds pretty metal. Yeah. Oh yeah, and you can blow parts off of the bosses and stuff. So like, you can, like yeah, you know, the first one has like this big claw arm on it, and it'll like swing it over and swing it back at you and stuff, and you can blow the claw off, and then it'll turn over and open up and start shooting other stuff at you, and you can blow those guns off. It's so it's, a pretty it's cool game. It's a badass game. Yeah. But yeah, I uh, I. I would never play any of these bootleg games, ever. I don't think I would. Um, any of the ones he just showed. Like, no. If there was another one that popped up, I'd be like, all right, I got to see what this is like. Yeah. <laughs> I would probably immediately regret it. I mean, oh, God. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, we got to move on from this. That was John Tron's uh, Disney bootlegs. Mother of Pearl. That was some scary stuff. So we hope you all have enjoyed what you've seen here. So I guess until next time, everyone. Signing off, I'm Nate. Micah. I'm Nick. And we will see you in the next one, everybody. Peace out. We're God, all deeply mercy. disturbed. <laughs> huh? We are all deeply disturbed. Oh.